Welcome to TV3. We're standing in front of one of the beautiful homes located in Tenerton at Twin Oaks Home Sales. And we just want to give you an idea of some of the wonderful homes that are available here. And Dennis is going to show them to you. Twin Oaks Home Sales in Tenerton is located Route 20 south of downtown Buchanan, West Virginia. Twin Oaks Home Sales is a family business owned by Frank and Judy Fado, who are dedicated to finding you a special home. If you're looking for a new home, Frank and Judy are people who care and will work with you to make sure you find the right home for you and your family. Call 304-473-1822 for more information or just stop by to check out the variety of homes available. You may also go on to Twin Oaks Home Sales 4 at gmail.com or Twin Oaks Home Sales LLC.com. The phone number again is 304-473-1822. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank Frank and Judy Fado at Twin Oaks Home Sales on Route 20 south of Buchanan in Tenerton for sponsoring the West Virginia Strawberry Festival Horse and Carriage Parade, which can be seen live or by visiting www.tv3 on demand. This is on YouTube. Come and visit Frank and Judy Fado at Twin Oaks Home Sales, open every day to show you the many homes available for you and your family. Your future home is just waiting for you. The home that we just looked at, it's beautiful. That might be the one that you want to choose.
anything in my headphones.
audio good.
Pond filling in for me for a bit. Sure. Basically, what you gotta do is you gotta just kind of slowly do it. We can see one of the Diamond D Cowgirls mounted drill team. Some very nice looking horses and cowgirls. That looks nice seeing the flags. Yeah. Do you know if they performed downtown today or not? I don't know. It looks like they have, are all those the same horses or it's a variety of horses? Probably a variety of breeds. Very well trained. Folks like this group. Yeah. Diamond. Is that Damon, Damon Kincaid. Damon Kincaid. Yes. Okay. Damon Kincaid is driving Molly and Dolly. They are seven and eight years old. Mr. Kincaid says that they're a great team that his family enjoys. They've hauled five Santa Clauses and, and Summersville Middle School cheerleaders. Oh, very important. <laughs> That's a neat little buggy. Molly and Dolly. <laughs> and what kind of horses are they? He didn't say in here, and they're they're not a real big heavy horse. No, they're pretty though. Mm -hmm. Could be a Morgan. But I wouldn't want to speculate. Summersville, West Virginia. We should have Sharp Stable. Riding saddlebreds and walking horses. They like to go to parades, trail rides, and shows. They're out of Grafton. Now the one on the far side wouldn't be called a paint, would it? Some some people call them paint, some people call them spotted. Some horse people kind of get a little funny and say paint comes in a can. <laughs> Not on a horse. <laughs> there you go. Do we have Carrie Terry? Driving horses for 65 years. Today he's driving Louise and Magnum. He's out of Victor, West Virginia. Oh, those are pretty wow. horses. They're different. I don't think we've had another set of we horses have that color. Yeah, that dapple gray. Oh, a pretty wagon, too. Mm -hmm. And where are they from again? Victor, West Virginia. They uh, came with Damon Kincaid, who was in our net last wagon mm -hmm. that came by. Oh, I love those horses. Mm -hmm. Victor, West Virginia. Our mules coming up in the next wagon. Ah, mammoth donkeys, I was wrong. <laughs> Faith Mountain. Yes. So this would be Faith Mountain's covered wagon pulled by a four up team of mammoth donkeys. Bill, Dottie, Faith, and Mariana are part of the mammoth donkeys used at the nonprofit equestrian camps for kids each year in Duck, West Virginia. Dr. Ross and Chris Young will be hosting the camps for the 10th season this summer. Bill and his girls probably pull the strawberry covered wagon to the Take Me Home Strawberry Lane theme. And they're, they're back here because they did horse and buggy rides a few years ago. Wonderful. And I think I, I talked to those two donkeys and I think I petted them. <laughs> <laughs> and they were sweet. They look happy to be oh, here. Oh, they are. <laughs> I think the wagon's a little different than the one that was here before, but I remember the names of the animals. Okay. They've been here and, and done this job several times, yes. it looks yes. like. This should be Charles Wolf driving two 12-year-old halflingers, Prince and Patsy. 
The owner, Charles Wolf, has 60 years of driving experience. He built this covered wagon himself. He enjoys wagon rides at home and participates in some parades. Prince and Patsy. I don't know who's in the back, but they look like they're having a nice ride. <laughs> Very relaxed. <laughs> Next, we have Roland and Sue Davis out of Sutton, West Virginia. Roland is riding a nine-year-old black Tennessee walking mare, Generators Holiday Star, whose pedigree includes three world grand champions and Jen's Armed and Dangerous Midnight Sun and Ebony Masterpiece. Sue is riding an 11-year-old gray Tennessee walking horse gelding named Rocket Man. It's interesting how many different names these horses have and things that you wouldn't even think that would be named for a horse. Right. <laughs> The, the walking horses, um, the registered walking horses come up with lots of names and it's all about their line. That's their a pretty horse. Yes. Very nice. Just taking their time. We have another wagon coming. Okay. Are they? Yeah, we got some mules. TK mules. Terry and Tammy Kirkland from Proctor, West Virginia. Riding along with their son Justice and several friends and family. <laughs> Looking back there, and I thought, are those the ears? <laughs> and, and now I can tell that they, they sure are. Yes, they are. Those are pretty, too. Mm -hmm. All dressed up in red for the Strawberry Festival. Are mules usually pretty easy going? I've never been around mules too much. I do know some folks that ride them, uh -huh. and they say they wouldn't trade and, and ride anything else. Um, and those are certainly well behaved. Yes, they are. And they're pretty, too. They are. The holy rollers are coming. OK. <laughs> That's what it says here. Uh, yep. <laughs> I know those folks. <laughs> I did see them in the lineup earlier. a pretty nice parade today. So far it's been great and the weather's holding out. It's cool, the wind's blowing a little, but it's not storming, it's not raining and we're so thankful. That's exactly right. I think the Holy Rollers must be in a different group or behind this wagon. This might be Frank and Gilda Bills out of Reno, Ohio, with their Italian Greyhound Keller. The mules are Sue and Coco. They camped <laughs> several times cooking out of wagons on the Greenbrier River Trail. Rode 165 miles from Boaz, Alabama to Montgomery, Alabama with the Alabama wagon train. They also rode at Loretta Lynn's Ranch in Hurricane Mills, Tennessee with a wagon train. Oh, this is really looking nice. Beautiful, wow. Four across. That takes some training. And they're doing it beautifully. They sure are. <laughs> I like their wagon, too. Yeah. All these wagons are so different. Yeah. And behind them, we have the Holy Rollers. 
Riders are Pastor Brian Sinclair riding Shiv Ridge, Virgil Miller riding McCoy, Walt Sinclair riding Blaze, Cody Hanlon riding Chessie, Wade Sinclair riding Priscilla, Susan Miller riding Penny, and Hannah Potty riding Babe. These are some local Buchanan folks. They've been most of our horse and carriage parades. Yeah. And it's nice that folks can get out like that and, and enjoy the riding. It really is. We have a lot of riders in Upshur County. So do you get together for events? We do. We Mostly what um, these folks and what I do are trail rides, just mm -hmm. group trail rides on people's farms and rails to trails and things that we can take our horses on without causing any traffic disruptions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have another wagon coming. Valley Riders, maybe, from Huttonsville, West Virginia? I don't know. That's not what I have on my list, okay. but that's very possible. Let's see. Doctor's buggy? Is that a doctor's buggy? Nope. I'm, I'm guessing these might be the Valley Riders. I'm not sure. Let's see the sign. There's no number on mm -mm. it, so I can't tell you. And we're sitting Pretty. far enough back we can't read the <laughs> sign. Frank and Gilda. There we go. We saw them. Bills, but I didn't have a sheet on him. Would that have been him? It might have been yeah. Frank Bills. Frank Bills, yeah. I think it was. They usually put the numbers in line up so the judges can see. So right. we just have to guess. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we do our best, but at least you get to see them and enjoy them. That's the main thing. Now we've got some riders coming. Would that be the valley riders, maybe? If so, they're out of Huttonsville, West Virginia. But I believe this might be the Southern Ohio. I'm just not sure. <laughs> This might be the Southern Ohio ladies aside, made up of women of all ages who enjoy the elegant art of riding side saddle. You don't see that very often anymore. Participate in a, a variety of unique equine events, including trail riding, fox hunting, barrel racing, and historical reenactments. Because we do have two ladies riding side saddle there. Yes, they are. And their horse, aren't they decorated beautifully? They sure are. That's a very nice group. Out of Bainbridge, Even Ohio. Their toenails. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe these are the Valley Riders coming up next. At a distance, I couldn't tell they were sign mm -mm. saddle, but you can't when you <laughs> see them up close. Beautiful. That might be the Valley Riders. I think so. I think these are the Valley Riders out of Huttonsville, West Virginia. Paula Poling is their contact person. Looks like a fun bunch of riders and horses that like to get together and ride for fun. Well, it's nice to see this many show up and then you know what a lot of folks are, are doing. They are doing some enjoyable riding with their yeah. horses. A great turnout today. And it's all ages. Sure is.
<laughs> Putting on a little show for us. Very nice. And who is this one? Our next buggy is Jack Watson. I think she's part of the, oh, the she's Valley part of Riders. Oh, she's part of this red. And then we have the little doctor's buggy coming up, pulled by Hank, a registered standard bred. Jack has been around horses all his life. Oh, that's cute. Very nice. Make any house calls in his doctor's buggy. He's out of Rock Cave, West Virginia. And again, that's the standard bred, the off-the-track X race horses make wonderful, wonderful companions. That's a beautiful horse. And that's not... Okay, this should be Jason Dyer riding Duke. He's a five-year-old Rocky Mountain horse out of Buchanan, West Virginia. Rocky Mountain's a very popular gated horse around this area. And a very smooth, smooth ride. And these are Don Dona Watson riding Stormy, a spotted walking horse. Brooke Bryant riding Lucky, a quarter horse. Logan Hall riding Ginger, a standard bred. Sam Lewis riding Major, a Tennessee walker. And Eddie Hall riding Bit, a Tennessee walker. Let me see the three. We've got number 50 there, I'll see that one. Yeah, that's the walking horses yeah. and the... Mm -hmm. Nice strawberry on his hind quarter. This one's red, white, and blue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a high school student here from Buchanan. They're moving on. There they are. This is Tracy Dyer. I believe riding Splash, an eight-year-old spotted saddle horse. <laughs> Letting the crowd get involved, giving her a pet. Oh, that's a pretty horse. Yes, sir. What a nice smooth ride he is. Eddie Hall. Wow. Now that horse is strutting. <laughs> he sure or is. Or trotting, whatever yeah. you want to call he's, it. He's gating and strutting for sure. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know. This is a leading horse. They're all out of order, I think. I don't see a number on that A little that miniature one. there. Yeah, it's a miniature horse. 42. 42. They're way back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a sweet little thing. <laughs> I see a wagon coming. Okay, maybe. I don't know if it would be Ray Miller or maybe Diamond Farms. We're a little out of order here. Yeah, we are. We'll try to catch up. See if we can see a number. <laughs> this should be Diamond R.D. Farm. That's what I thought too. Pulled by Buck and Bonnie, a brother and sister team. They're 16 years old. The wagon was built on the Reed Farm here in Upshur County by Dana Reed and family. Riding with Dana are his granddaughters Emmy and Ellie Calger. Supposed to be. Is that the right one? 
No. Cla no, it isn't. Pleasant, Pleasant Valley. Valley. Maybe it's one that was skipped over. Yeah. That's a funeral wagon, it sure is it not? Is. It sure is. Don't have anything on them. Very beautiful. That's a way to go out of <laughs> you go sure out in style. <laughs> That's right. They're from Maryland, right? Oh yeah. Oakland, Maryland. That is beautiful. Sure is. Maybe this is the Reed Diamond R D farm. Well, we've had a pretty good lineup. We sure on, have. On time, in the yes. right place. <laughs> but this always happens. Horses don't really care what order they're supposed no, they to be sure in. <laughs> they just want to get down the street. That's right. That's a pretty one, too. 62, 62 Diamond Yeah, farm. that's your Diamond RD farm. That was out at Dana Reed, out of Tolmansville, West Virginia. And what kind of horses are those? Those are what I would call Percherons or draft horses, Buck and Bonnie. And Buck they're 16 Bonnie. years old. Oh my. That wagon was built on the farm. What is the, the normal length for a horse to live? Horses, if they're healthy, will tend to live 25 to 35 really? years. Really? That's mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. It's a nice looking wagon and I like the horses too. Here comes another pretty one. Yeah, this is a four horse hitch. And I believe this is Rocky Ridge Acres, four horse Belgian mm -hmm. hitch. Lead team on the right is Leo, seven years old. On the left is Amos, three years old. Wheel team is on right on Monty, eight years old. And left is Rock, three years old. Oh, they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. The driver is Fred Kiger. They offer carriage services and six horse hitch exhibitions and wagon rides out of Waynesburg, Pennsylvania. Belgians. I don't know. Right behind them is off the same farm, I do believe. Rocky Ridge Acres is a mule hitch. On the left is Sherman, he's 14 years old. On the right is Lady. I'm giving them plenty of time. These mules are both 14 years old. The driver is Joe Weimer, Jr., and they offer carriage and wagon ride services as well. I can't get over how long those ears are. <laughs> they ought to hear really that, well. Yes, they do. Very distinctive. Looks like we have a couple of riders coming up behind them. 67. I think that's Jackie Bailey and her horse, number 60. Should be 60 and 61. Yeah. Well, they're both, she's down there twice, but it could yeah, be Yeah, she's got three horses. entries here. One. Domino is a black and white spotted Tennessee walking horse. He enjoys trail riding and open roads where he can open up and stretch his legs. <laughs> Bettina. That's, that's interesting, his front leg, if you notice, it's the light color all the way down. Yeah. That's uh, unusual. It is. Very nice, smooth ride on those horses. This number is 
That looks like another walking horse to me. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure which one it is. It's got the number flipped over. Yeah. Would that be Jackie Bailey's? Um, it may be one of her horses. I, I do know Jackie. I haven't seen her come through yet. That might be Bettina Klein riding Sapphire. Mm. Okay. There's Jackie. She's riding Domino, a white, black and white spotted walking horse gelding. He enjoys trail riding and open roads. Pretty horse. He is. And the one behind her is Deborah Moss riding Sonny, a Tennessee walking horse. He was a field trial horse. He'll pull a cart and you can shoot a gun off of him. Oh my. Now he's an excellent trail horse for young and old. I like the color of that mm -hmm. horse too. Wow. She's even painted its toes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll say toes. Hooves. Yes. <laughs> Very well behaved horse. The horse is decked out and it he knows it. He is, yes. <laughs> oh, look how it oh, is. It's something. beautiful. Doesn't get much better than that. No, it doesn't. The next one looks like a Rocky Mountain horse coming up through here. Are these all Jackie Bailey's horses? Jackie had three entries. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing I'm that that's one of her horses. 66, yes. yeah. Five yeah. year old Rocky. Yeah. That one's all decked Another out. Another beautiful, yeah. This one has silver hooves. Oh, how pretty. <laughs> Strawberry blanket on, yeah. underneath the saddle. What do we have next? Okay, this is Bowser contracting. This is Doug Bowser riding Dusty, his sturdy Palomino. And then with him is Renita Luz riding Cheyenne, a 10-year-old quarter horse. She lives in Queens, West Virginia on a small farm and her best friend is a nanny goat named Coco. Aww. <laughs> and Coco wanted to come, but Cheyenne was unable to attend. <laughs> Is, is, that isn't a Palomino, is yes, it? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I thought, dusty I thought the it was, Palomino. but I thought I would ask to make sure. And, it's and very that's pretty. the color. Of, yeah. And he's a walking horse. It's pretty. 73 and 75. Krista Edwards and Chloe Weihall and Mackenzie Wagner. Mackenzie is a student at my school. Oh, okay. She's riding her quarter Arabian Cody. And they spend many hours on trails and working on jumping and barrels. And we have a thoroughbred and a standard bred there. Mackenzie's a nursing student. With her sunflowers on. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the tail on the horse. Yeah. <laughs> Seventy-eight, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to wait till it gets a little closer. <laughs> I'm thinking that might be them. Golden Farm of Misfitted Animals. Neil and Crystal Golden trail ride over several farms in the Berlin community. They've ridden in different parades, including Strawberry Festival, the Weston Memorial, and the Forest Festival. And Misfit. The misfit Golden of Farm animals. of Misfitted Animals. <laughs> I'd like to hear the story behind I that one. I would too. <laughs> Out of Weston, West Virginia. Now see, I would call this next horse a paint, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> this is Jason and Renee Hoffman from Freedom Hill Farm located in Buchanan, West Virginia. Their farm is dedicated to caring for and finding good homes for horses from rescue. Aww. They enjoy trail riding on the weekends with friends. It's almost, a, it's a, Appaloosa yeah, is, Appaloosa, I believe, what? Yeah, yeah, it's a beautiful. It's almost like a zebra Appaloosa. Look how still it is. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. Looks like somebody carefully painted. That's yes, <laughs> ma'am. And this is Jamie Andrews coming up next, another Palomino. It's a nine-year-old quarter horse mare. And Gracie Andrews, I believe his daughter, 12-year-old Bay Roan quarter horse mare as well. This has been a lovely parade. Sure has. And they've been spaced, and we're so happy about that because it gives you a chance to talk a little bit more about them. Absolutely.
Very nice. Number 82 and 83 is Tara Lee and Jonathan Lee. Looks like some sturdy horses there, probably gated. may be our last entry, Kevin and Melinda and Kaylee Smith. I don't have any information on the horses, but they sure are pretty. Yes, they are. It's like a saddlebred horse over on the left. That last one, number 85, isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All kinds of markings. Oh my. Very, very nice. This has been a lovely parade. It has. And I, I think the folks who have come uh, are having a good time. And I think the folks who have watched the parade have had a good time. Absolutely. And I know I've enjoyed having you with me. Thank you. I've enjoyed Rebecca being here. Rebecca Call has been uh, my sidekick today. She's, she knows all about horses, and I don't. So. <laughs> <laughs> and we want to thank uh, our sponsors for uh, our television coverage, which is um, Frank and Judy Fado at Twin Oaks Home Sales right here in Buckhannon. Welcome to TV3. We're standing in front of one of the beautiful homes located in Tenerton at Twin Oaks Home Sales. And we just want to give you an idea of some of the wonderful homes that are available here. And Dennis is going to show them to you. Twin Oaks Home Sales in Tenerton is located Route 20 south of downtown Buckhannon, West Virginia. Twin Oaks Home Sales is a family business owned by Frank and Judy Fado, who are dedicated to finding you a special home. If you're looking for a new home, Frank and Judy are people who care and will work with you to make sure you find the right home for you and your family. Call 304-473-1822 for more information or just stop by to check out the variety of homes available. You may also go on to Twin Oaks Home Sales 4 at gmail.com or Twin Oaks Home Sales LLC.com. The phone number again is 304-473-1822. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank Frank and Judy Fado at Twin Oaks Home Sales on Route 20 south of Buckhannon in Tenerton for sponsoring the West Virginia Strawberry Festival Horse and Carriage Parade, which can be seen live or by visiting www.tv3 on demand. This is on YouTube. Come and visit Frank and Judy Fado at Twin Oaks Home Sales, open every day to show you the many homes available for you and your family. Your future home is just waiting for you. The home that we just looked at, it's beautiful. That might be the one that you want to choose.